What is going on my YouTube family? Welcome back to the Gaming Brigade and today my fellow agents I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite skill builds to use in the game and this is pretty much my go-to build whether I'm hitting up Legendary in the Summit or I'm just running around the open world hitting up control points I will show you gameplay footage from both. Now as always we're going to jump right into the build breakdown I do not want to waste your time and we are going to start with the specialization. You can see I'm using Technician and I've chosen that for a bunch of different reasons. First of all you're going to get that extra skill tier. Second Secondly, you get an extra 12% damage bonus to drone skill proxies and robotics, and if you're using this on Legendary, you will run into those all the damn time, so that is definitely going to help you out. You also have access to Overclock CPU, which gives you an additional 10% skill damage, and remember, regardless of which specialization you choose, always have the proper weapons activated in your weapon skill tree, that way you're getting a 15% weapon damage bonus, regardless of which one you are using. Now, my primary for this build is the Harmony Rifle, it is a PvP exclusive. However, you can get this from opening name caches. You can see it has the talent perfectly in sync. Hitting an enemy grants 20% skill damage for 5 seconds. Using a non-shield skill or damaging an enemy with a skill grants 20% weapon damage for 5 seconds as well, and damage increases are doubled while both buffs are active at the same time. My secondary is the capacitor. Absolutely love this weapon. It is one of my favorite assault rifles in the game. It has the talent capacitance. And with that talent, shooting enemies build stacks to a cap of 40. Each stack grants 1.5% skill damage and not only that for each skill tier you gain you're going to gain an additional 7.5% weapon damage as well which makes this one of the best ARs in the game at least in my opinion let me know what you think now if you do not have either of these weapons you do have other alternatives you can see here the test subject also has the talent perfectly in sync as well and as far as the handgun is concerned feel free to use any one you want my preference is to use one that has the talent in sync on it now moving on to the gear you can see we're running three Empress International, two Hannah Yu, and the Wyvern Mask, which you're looking at right now. Now on every single piece of gear, I'm trying to stack skill damage and skill haste or skill duration everywhere I can. Moving on to the body armor, it's the first piece of Empress. We're running all three, so we do get all of the brand set bonuses. You can see I'm using the talent kinetic momentum. When in combat, each skill is going to generate a stack while active or not on cooldown. Stacks are going to increase your total skill damage by 1% and total skill repair by 2%, up to 15 stacks per skill. That takes us now to the holster, which is the first piece of Hannah Yu. We're running two, so we get that extra skill haste and skill damage. Right after that, we have the knee pads and the gloves. You can see the knee pads are the second piece of Empress International. The gloves are the second piece of Hannah Yu. And last but not least, we have the backpack, third and final piece of Empress. And you can see I'm using the talent tech support. And with that talent, skill kills increase total skill damage by 25% for 25 seconds, which is an absolute lifetime in the game. And as we move on, one thing I'd like to point out out really quick is a lot of this gear is not fully maxed out as yet and that is because sometimes it really takes a while to get the exact gear you're looking for but that does not mean you cannot jump into different content to give it a shot as far as my skills are concerned i'm using two of my favorite in the game and you can see they are the assault drone and the assault turret however you can really do any combination you want my fellow agents if you enjoy some others please let me know and as always questions comments or feedback let me know as well and i will do my best to get back to you as quick as i can now, as I promised at the beginning of the video, my fellow agents, I'm going to leave you with some gameplay footage so you can see the build in action. We're going to hit up the summit on Legendary. And as you can see, we are hitting up floor 10. This is my favorite way to farm for Legendary loot as a solo player. Once again, I want to thank you all for your incredible support of this channel. I sincerely appreciate the privilege of your time, and as I mention at the end of every one of these, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. If you enjoyed this, you could hit that like button as well. But most importantly, take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone.